Hi guys, today we are going to learn about the construction of transformer. Okay, so basically this is the structure which we are using to study the transformer. Okay, and this one is the magnetic core of the transformer. Magnetic core of the transformer. So, what is the use of magnetic core? Magnetic core is used to provide the path for the flux. Provide the path for flux. Okay. So, we have to take care while designing the magnetic core. The second thing is windings. Okay, these are the windings. So, a winding which is connected to source is called primary winding and a winding which is connected to load is called secondary winding. Okay, so this is connected to source, this is called primary winding and this one is connected to load, this is called secondary winding okay generally this primary winding is performing an additional work performing an additional work what the thing is it is producing the flux and satisfying the load satisfying the load okay so that is the reason why this winding is called primary this is the topper first in the class okay and this winding is satisfying only the load that is the reason why it is called secondary winding okay in general simply a winding which is connected to source is called primary winding and a winding which is connected to load is called secondary winding okay and this one is the magnetic core so Magnetic core and windings are takes place an important role in the construction of transformer. Okay, now the transformer core. Generally, transformer core in the sense it is a stack of silicon steel laminations of 0.35 mm thickness of 50 H. Okay, so first of all. To design the magnetic core of the transformer, we will use silicon steel material. Silicon steel, in which 4% of silicon and 96% of steel are used. Okay, that is called silicon steel. Okay, and this silicon steel is processed. That is CRGO called cold rolling grains orientation. Rolling grains orientation. Okay, it is a special process. <coughs> it is a process by which the silicon grains are oriented, oriented to allow the maximum amount of flux through the magnetic core okay so now this crgo steel material is taken and like laminations okay so <coughs> these laminations a solid core is taken and which was cut into slices those are laminations okay and each lamination each lamination is separated with an insulating material insulating material that is varnish varnish china clay china clay oxide paint oxide paint in general we will call as a red oxide paint okay oxide paint and impregnated paper impregnated paper 
so impregnated paper in the sense simply a normal paper which is dipped in the transformer oil that process is called impregnation okay so which leads to uh, give the uh, paper to a good insulating properties okay all these are good insulators okay we will take a solid core and we'll cut each lamination of 0.35 mm thickness okay and each lamination is separated with these insulating materials okay with these insulating materials to reduce the losses we are doing the lamination process so to reduce the eddy current losses eddy current losses are reduced by laminations okay and laminations are provide definitely the laminations will provide continuous path for the flux to flow okay so it provide the continuous path for the flux to flow and next important thing is windings okay we have to concentrate on windings that is a transformer winding okay so generally for the transformer winding they'll use aluminum or copper aluminum or copper we'll use either aluminum or copper but the copper by using copper it is more advantageous when compared with aluminum by using copper we can reduce the losses reduce the losses by using copper and losses are less and the life of copper is also more when compared to aluminum life of copper is more when compared to aluminum so that is the reason why we use a copper conductor okay so but the thing is we we'll use copper stranded conductors stranded we will not use a solid conductor okay generally solid conductor in the sense that is like this okay only a single conductor okay. so with the solid conductor what happens is some currents some circulating currents will exist in the conductor and they will not participate in any conduction they will circulate like this they will not participate in any conduction they are not uh, not useful okay so these currents are called stray currents stray currents which results in increase in stray load losses increase in stray load losses even though these stray losses are less but by using this solid conductor we can increase the stray load losses are more okay so what we will use is we will use stranded conductor we will use a stranded conductor Stranded conductor in the sense simply this is solid conductor is cut into number of pieces like this, okay? And this is this conductor and this conductor. These two conductors are separated by an enamel coating. Enamel, okay? These two are insulated from each other, okay? so this is a stranded conductor okay in general what is the thing is we have a skin effect problem skin effect skin effect in the sense which offers more resistance to ac than dc so generally rac is equal to 1.6 into rdc so here 1.6 is the skin effect factor in effect factor a conductor offers more resistance to ac in general conductor offers more resistance to ac than dc 
so if you use a solid conductor if we use a solid conductor like this the current will utilize only the skin of the conductor it will not utilize the overall cross section area of the conductor if you use solid conductor but whereas in case of a standard conductor standard conductor the diameter is very much thin okay so with that the current can utilize this cross sectional area very effectively and this cross sectional area very effectively this one is very effectively this one is very effectively and effectively as a whole as a whole by using a stranded conductors by using stranded conductors we can utilize the entire conductor very effectively entire cross sectional area of the conductor very effectively so uh, generally skin effect is directly proportional to skin effect is directly proportional to square of the diameter so here the skin effect is very less skin effect is very less in case of stranded conductors okay so this is about the winding shape transformer okay thank you